Hi garden scientists, today I'm showing you how to plant five drought tolerant plants that flower beautifully and have healing properties. So I'm in zone 9b in Northern California and the soil that I have here needs to be amended. It is very clay soil. So do not add water. Do not try to go out and amend the soil when it's raining thinking it's going to be easier to dig if you have clay soil. Just break it up as best you can and go ahead and add your layer of compost and mix it in really well. And it's going to be pretty hard to dig in this type of soil. So having a post digger will really come in handy when making your holes for your plants. The way that I placed them is I did it from shortest to tallest growing because I have them by the staircase and I want them to kind of be in alignment with the ascension of the stairs. Disclaimer, before you try any herbal remedies yourself, you need to call your doctor and make sure that they coincide with your medications or call your naturopath or be under supervision of a shaman. This is the red monardella, also known as the hummingbird monardella because of those big bright red flowers that attract hummingbirds and butterflies and your pollinators. Those are really important to mix in with your herbal remedy plants. You wanna have lots of pollinators in your garden. That's a big part about being organic and pesticide free is having the pollinators come and make your garden really thrive and continue to come back every single year. This is another California native, obviously the California poppy. This type of poppy is not the kind that's going to get you high or be addictive, but if you make a tincture or a tea out of it, it can help with anxiety, help you relax, maybe even put you to sleep, and help with minor pains. This is the morning flag or morning iris, which is actually native to Australia. I really like this one because it stays flowering all through spring and summer and really green throughout the winter. It's really gorgeous. It's important to put plants that are hardy like this together because the other plants can be very overpowering. So you gotta get plants in there in the same area that are gonna be able to hold their own. And then we have the Chinese forget-me-not also known as the hound's tongue. This has been used in traditional Chinese medicine for coughs and swollen glands. And then of course, a lot of you probably know this one. It's white sage, great for smudging, burning in your home, cleansing energies, smells amazing. But if you didn't know, this one can be used in teas. It tastes really good. Sage honey is my absolute favorite. But what it does is it helps dry up if you have mucus or a lot of phlegm that you're coughing up, it's going to dry that up for you. It is really strong. It's super important to remember that if you are pregnant, do not drink this or consume this as a remedy because it will dry up your milk. So once these plants are well established, I'm going to be making videos on how to do some of these remedies. So if there's things that I haven't mentioned, any medicinal uses or recipes that you know about, please comment them below and I'll make sure to make future videos on them as well. Um, in the meantime, follow me on my Instagram page at Gypsies Healing Herbs and you can keep track of the progress of how well they're growing and you can also shoot me some ideas on there. Thanks for watching, guys.